One week ago, a Rawson student's life was cut short following an accidental shooting. Today, family and friends came out to support the baseball team he left behind. 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson has more tonight from the emotional game. It was a game like no other for the Ralston Rams baseball team Saturday. It's not all about wins and losses. It's about how we can come together. Players ready to hit the field for their season opener. This time, though, they'll be playing ball without one of their own. We're excited to get out here and do it for Tanner. This is the first game for the Rams since losing Tanner Farrell. The 18-year-old died following an accidental shooting last weekend. For everyone who knew Tanner, this past week has been rough. It's been uh, emotionally exhausting mentally exhausting and physically exhausting. It's step by step and minute by minute. That includes his family members who showed up to see the team take to the field. Tanner's uncle says seeing the team back in action, though challenging at first, will ultimately help his parents heal. It'll help them heal to know that, that uh, life does go on and that Tanner left a legacy that, that is going to continue. Aside from the impact he left, that legacy also includes a scholarship fund. Donations were collected at the game. The team's coaches have said there's no game plan for dealing with this kind of loss. They've just had to rely on the game and each other. We can't control what's going to happen behind these fences today. I don't know what's going to happen, but in between these fences and out here, you know, it's still the same game. We got to throw strikes and pick it up. The best thing was to get out here with each other, kind of be with each other and show our support for one another. If anyone got down, we picked them up and let them know we're all here. It puts things into perspective. At the end, it's it's a baseball game. While Tanner's family relies on the memories they've shared with him as they continue to grieve his loss. We're going to remember him as the as the quiet, funny, young kid that, that liked to, to sit down and play games and, and have fun with his cousins and, and he treated everyone so well. I, I think that if, if we could take a, a legacy from, from just enjoy life and treat people good, that, that would be a great way to remember Tanner. In Ralston, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now. 18-year-old Blake Miller is facing a manslaughter charge following Farrell's death. A preliminary hearing for Miller has been set for April 18th.